So and, let's and talk about um, current market contingencies. So typically it's what, 10 to 15% that you would add to your um, uh, rehab budget for mm. stuff that goes wrong. Most people expensive. are doing five to 10. Yeah. Most people are doing five yeah. to 10 right now. Now, now, now because of inflation that's hitting everything, uh, the fact that it's taking longer to get anything done, would it make sense to go to 15%? Of a contingency? It would if you've got the room for it. Yeah. If, if, if you like, you know, if you're bumping up against that 70 or 75 with a 10% contingency, I mean, that's, I keep it there. Yeah. But, that's pushing it. But at the same time, values continue to go up. So the sure. longer it takes you to finish it, the more it's going to be worth. At <laughs> this point. Yes, at I know. At this point. I, that's why I said in this current yeah. market. Yeah. Because markets always change. Yeah. To be different tomorrow. Yeah. Today, <laughs> that is a true statement. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this this market is great right now. It covers up a lot of mistakes. It sure mm -hmm. does. Yeah. But there are always going to be times where things change. Yeah. And sometimes you're going to be holding the short end of the stick, mm -hmm. <clears throat> as it were. That's right. I mean, and you, you talked about the contingencies. I mean, we say, you know, five to 10 percent. That's pretty normal. I mean, when you did a deal where your contingency should have been 100 percent, right? Mm -hmm. I, I just did a deal where my contingency should have been 30%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we, we say that, you know, five to 10 is, is normal. And, and for the most part that will cover it, but there are times where it exceeds. Yeah. That. Yeah. And the market covers it. Mm -hmm. So Sue Jensen said something. Hey, Sue. Yeah. She, she's trying to make Jonathan's head bigger. That's Definitely want saying. to understand more about the IRR and Sue's a perfect person she, to learn this. She said, Sue tried to retire and she flunked. That's right. Retiring. So well, it's no different from you. You, your major was in nonprofit. So making profit. <laughs> Thank God. But uh, <laughs> Sue is a lender, and and Sue really gets into her numbers. She mm -hmm. she really um, she's she figures out what she's making, whether it's in a fund or an individual loan or whatever it is she's doing. And I think the time value would mean a lot uh, to Sue learning that yeah. part of it. So. Yeah, absolutely. No, we'll we'll definitely cover XIR, IRR, ROI. Uh, we'll cover you know all the things we were talking about this morning: uh, weighted average coupon, uh, weighted average cost of capital, um, and a few other acronyms.